Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Noah's Tale. Now I've grabbed the Marlin out the back of the truck. It's not the most powerful gun in the world, fires these 22 rounds, and the 22 rounds aren't the most powerful in the world as well, but I think it's going to be a good learning rifle for lower for Noah, rather, to be able to use from, from long range. These CB rounds, these conical ball rounds, they're subsonic rounds, so they make barely any noise at all, but we can see the damage is really, really low. So this is something that we might be able to get away with using on animals um, or small games. So if we see any rabbits or anything like that, we should be able to get them and not actually damage them too much as well. So it'll be it'll be a good test to see what that's like. But we do actually have quite a few um, full metal jacket rounds as well. So we will be able to test those out as well. Again, a little bit louder, but not but not super loud. This this LR round, um, it's really good, but unfortunately we, we just have the one of it. Um, we do have this barrel extension, which I was thinking about using on the uh, on the rifle. So very easy for us to actually activate that. So we just activate, um, except we need to be level five to be able to use it. Damn, it's been a while since I've installed um, rifle mods. Um, so we will probably just throw that in the Mac. We are going to need to have that on us. Barrow extension can live in a box. And um, we're going to want to hit the road. But uh, the direction, that's the tough thing. What direction do we want to go in is our question. I'm going to very quickly... the hell just happened there? I started wielding a bra? No? Okay, never mind. Okay, so we will reload our Marlin and we will use for now. Yeah, for now we will use the full metal jacket rounds. Okay, all right. Ah, it's one of. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, we re reload them individually. So that's kind of cool. So if you just need to very quickly fire, you can just load one in. So we'll, we'll go until the actual chamber is full. 19. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It's going to be interesting to see um, see what it's like. Uh, what's its kind of range like? Uh, you know what? It's n it doesn't actually fire that far. I would have thought it fired a lot further than that. Um, oh well. It's going to be a good test at least anyway. Um, so yes, we want to have a look at where we're going to be going today. I'm thinking about, just because it's so close, exploring this road first, just seeing exactly where it's going to go. But um, we're also going to want to have a look at down at these roads eventually as well. I think this will probably hook up to one of these here, and we'll end up um, cycling back around. Um, if we end up do driving through the towns, I am just going to drive through really quick. We're going to try our best not to stop, but you know me, I might get distracted and end up, um, <laughs> and end up trying to save someone's life. So... We'll have to see how Noah does there. Um, we are feeling tired though because um, obviously we were up all, we were up all, we were up all night. We just we didn't literally didn't sleep at all. So maybe maybe it was a combination of things. Noah um, not feeling a hundred percent. She's had a few rough days and some close encounters, and well, she's killed two people, um, just two regular guys uh, who were out to get her. Uh, the first time she got very lucky, and the second time even luckier, because um, I think just with it being dark was the only reason that we were able to kind of survive that scenario. Um, yeah, he definitely had a superior weapon on us, that's for sure. Okay, so before I forget, we are just going to eat some of this caffeinated chewing gum. It's just going to—it's going to give us a little bit of a boost, and it's going to keep us awake for a little bit longer as well. Okay, so we're starting to see a little bit more of the place already. I'm not going to be too concerned about stopping for vehicles, um, but at the same time, I'm wanting to be aware of what's out there on the road, just because, um, you know, there is always a chance of roadblocks, and with roadblocks, there's all kinds of terrible things. Okay, so it looks like we've got another mansion down here. Ah, actually, that's that's all it is. This is the end of the road, and it's a mansion. Well, okay, um, I guess we'll be exploring this mansion today and seeing what we've got, um, what we've got available to us in there. 
Okay, so we'll pull the handbrake. Let's see. Making sure that I don't have any lights on. Hit Z, get back down. Get on out of there. I'm not seeing any zombies here, which is interesting. Um, hmm. There we go, there they are. Okay, so they are in there. Um, let's see. It's actually in pretty good condition, this mansion, so far. Let's see if we can pry this open. Actually, it took them a while. So they would have heard me come in there. And there's a nice big old library as well, so we'll definitely have one of the books that we're looking for in here. So I'm sure under the hood will be in there somewhere. So far, relatively deserted. Um, zombie to the northeast. Yeah, so it looks like they've, they've smashed out these windows probably a, a decent while ago. And, um, yeah. So, what I just did then is that if you hit, um, if you hit star, that's your construction window. So we can use that to clean up this broken window. So we just hit the direction. Um, and that way it's a little bit more quieter than just smashing the glass. Yeah, so there we go. Um, where did they... Oh, shit. Those were two zombies a second ago. And they're not zombies anymore. I think that's a tremor or a giant worm or something like that. Um, so if we just watch that for a second, if we just pass a turn, we should see some movement underground. You know what? Yeah, see, yeah, giant worm right here. Yeah, I'm not going to stick around. We are going to get back inside now. Because um, you see how quickly he killed those two zombies, just like that. We saw them and then bam, they're gone, they're dead. Okay, right. Hello. Um, we are going to wield our katana and we're going to try that out for the first time. We'll let him walk into the door frame. Okay. Wow. We quickly strike the zombie for 45 damage. Not bad. I think we're going to be able to take another swing from where we are. Yep, there we go. We chopped the zombie for 68 damage. And he's dead. I think this, um... This katana was a pretty good investment, actually. And I think we made the right choice by choosing it. I'm probably going to cut up the, that leather jacket really quick, just so I can get the leather from it. Ten patches, that's great. Um, obviously it does take up space, um, but I need those to reinforce in my holsters, so we will be needing that. And th there's a pool here as well, which is cool, so that's a, that's a source of water. It is pool water, so you will want to um, actually try and treat it, but um, yeah, that could be a good source of water for us. Other than the rain itself. Okay, so we see we're getting these quick strikes, so we're we're striking a lot faster than we usually would be. I'm gonna be fine with butchering that zombie before the other one gets here. I'm gonna move on to the chair here, let him come and try and cramble across that. 77 damage. Bam. I'm liking this um liking this katana a lot. And you know, even with R3 encumberment at the moment as well. We can handle it. We can we can handle these guys. I think Noah's feeling a lot more comfortable around them. So we're gonna let them come nice and close. I think we're actually gonna back off just because um yeah we still don't want to get surrounded. Let you come on in. Bam, just like that. Damn, she's doing really good. Okay, we'll take the cash card as well. That's going to do it for those two. Alright. So, I don't want to lose my place within the mansion, so I'm just going to keep on trying to work down the side. And I will leave the doors open for the time being, just to show that I've actually explored them. Otherwise, you can get quite disorientated. Okay. Alright, let's do this. We already have a hacksaw. Or well, we should we should have a hacksaw. Um, but then there's that part of me that's thinking, do we have a hacksaw? <laughs> We've got thunder going on outside now as well. We maimed the zombie, so we, we chopped a decent part of them off. 
great. Our skill and survival has gone up to two just from butchering alone, so that's really good. Um, let's eat. Eat. Let's drink some water. Because we're getting a bit thirsty. Um, why am I not feeling good? Because we're wet. Aha! We can now activate our towel. Look at that. Bam. We're dried off and the towel is saturated with water. Now, how we activate this? I'm not sure. Can we activate it again? It's too wet. Yeah. See, I'd like to wring it out, but I'm not quite sure how we're going to wring that out. I think we just need to let it be for now. Yeah. We'll let it be sopping. But we can see that we got rid of that now. Got rid of that effect. Okay, so these zombies have moved outside. They're to the southeast. And it looks like there's a minefield down there as well. So we're going to come on over to the window. We're going to hit star again. Oh, actually, no, sorry. It's shift star. Um, shift asterisk, rather. Um, and we're going to go and clean up this broken window. Stop construction? No. We'll only stop if it says that... Um, it's approaching so if it told us that the zombie was approaching that's where we're going to want to stop so that looks like it's a minefield yep danger minefield and it looks like we've got some more worms out there as well so yeah so there's two zombies let's see what's going to happen there it's a giant wasp hitting a chipmunk so we can see there's like a there's a decent amount going on down here we've got a zombie coming in from the side we're just going to keep an eye on around us, and I just want to see what's going to happen here, because I think... Oh, holy shit. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. There's five of them down there. So they're probably the majority of the ones that came from the, the house itself. Um, and we're wet again. Shit. I shouldn't be standing around out in the rain. Okay, let's jump back inside for now. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to use that towel again as well, which is a little bit sucky. Okay, zombie down the end of the hallway. We will take him out. Let's see if there's any others. Okay, there's two. That's okay, we can handle that. Let him come to us. Okay, so we got skill and bashing weapons increased to two. Because there's a slight amount of bashing that you get from the katana when you're attacking as well. Same thing from the um, broadsword. Excellent. And anything down there? No. So we'll just butch them both up. We'll go back and explore these other rooms. Okay, what do we got? Computer gaming, beauty medicine. It's most likely just going to be yeah, different alcohols. A holy symbol. You know what? I'll take one just in case. There's some pretty horrific things in this game, and who knows? Maybe it affects them. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Okay, grab the lasagna. Crackers, yeah, they're just going to make us thirsty. We'll grab the seasoning. A waffle iron. And protein shake, why not? Alright, Noah's doing a pretty good job so far. Ripping through this. And there's a decent room here. There might be somewhere that we could stay. We'd have to do a little bit of cleaning out first, but it's not too bad, this place. Leather pants. Hmm. Okay. Not for us, I don't think. More holy symbols. And a zombie. Alright, let's do this. Wanna come for that plant pot at me? There you are. 47. 44. So they're both quick strikes as well. So they, that's that rapid strike working for us where... Okay, alright, I'll just let, let them keep coming actually. I'm not going to stand on the plant pot though, because it'll slow us down a little bit. Bam! Just like that. We chopped him one hit and he's dead. Uh, he probably was already injured though. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to clean up the broken window. Clean that one out down there so that we can move through it. We should be able to see some other zombies here. Southwest. Yeah, he's a little bit far away. So we won't stress about that for the moment. But we will butcher them. Because we don't want them coming back. There we go. Yeah, so that's the other thing as well, is that when NPCs kill zombies, they don't butcher them. Um, so when 
Jenny has been killing all those zombies in the town she hasn't been butchering them so they will eventually come back to life and I did actually notice that in the last episode that zombies were rising around me and I weren't I wasn't I wasn't noticing at the time it was saying down the down here in the text it's um definitely a friend you want to try and look down there as much as possible bam she's getting pretty good at dispatching these guys they're gonna be much of a trouble for them all about swords perfect there we go <laughs> Let's um let's read that tonight, I think. Okay, let's see. Anything else from that we want? No, I don't think so. Survivor's note. The local auto shop is full of the things. I think I used to work with and I th and to think I worked with them on repairing cars and now they're just fucking corpses. Oh poor guy. We'll take trap and field. Probably already have it though, and we'll take birdhouse monthly. Okay, through the lens, an archery for kids. High explosives, okay. Book of Dances, okay. Why not? We'll take the Cars Buyer's Guide as well. It'll tell us a little bit about cars. This, these two items. Petrified eye and a spiral stone. A fifth-sized eyeball with a cross-shaped pupil. It seems to be made of stone, but it doesn't look like it was carved. In the spiral stone, a rock the size of your fist. It is covered with intricate spirals. It is impossible to tell whether they are carved, naturally formed, or some kind of fossil. These two items are pretty late game. Um, there are some things on the map, some places that you can go to where those items would be very useful. Um, I've only ever explored one of them before and it is terrifying so yeah you want to watch out for that. Okay jar, jar of horseradish. Enjoyability is minus 20 or oh, I suppose by itself but yeah maybe no it just doesn't enjoy horseradish at all. <laughs> Fair enough each to their own. Uh, butcher's knife. Wow, the butchering quality of that is freaking awesome. Uh, so we've got our steak knife in, the, in our boot at the moment. So if we activate our boot, uh, we can see we've got steak knife. So we'll take our steak knife out. Yeah, so we've got that in our hands at the moment. Butchering quality for that is 20. So yeah, we will drop our steak knife and we will grab the butchering knife. Activate the boot, put a knife in the boot. That's not a knife. I tried to put my bra on my boot. Okay. Butcher's knife. Great. Got the butcher's knife in our boot. And we will wield our katana. Uh. Did it work? Yes, it worked. Okay. <laughs> what have we got there? It looks like a microwave. I realize you could just pick up a microwave. Um. Yeah, but obviously with no power at all, it's not. It's not useful. Uh, we can't really use it for it for anything uh, other than parts. Loot fisks. Dried fish. Okay, I'll take it. We'll take the aluminium tongs as well, though I think we may have some already. Tongs are useful when it comes to blacksmithing and things like that. I'm going to take both of those. We're going to need to head back out to the car in a moment. Pineapples. Ooh. Papaya. Radiated rhubarbs. Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll actually eat some of this stuff now. Um, let's see what we got. Let's eat some. Let's eat this vegetable salad. Wow, awesome, slaked and full. Great. So we will quickly run back up towards where the car is. So we'll go up along the path that we've already gone, except there's already a zombie there. Okay, so we're we're over encumbered, but hopefully this doesn't throw us off too much. No, we're still very quick. Excellent. Owned. Great. Uh, looks like a few have come through here now. Okay, we'll wait for him. Let him get nice and close. Bam! 80 damage. Shit. Noah is slaying. Okay. Alright, um, that's the pool. Oh no, this is a different pool. I've come a completely different way than what I intended to. But I guess I'll just, um, I'll just do it. 
We've come this far now. Okay, if we should stand our ground, we should be okay. There we go. Oh, I didn't see you. Hello? Ah, you were in the pool? I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, zombie emerges from the pool water. Shit, that's why I didn't see them. That's quite cool. But, again, nothing that Noah isn't comfortable with taking care of. A pair of glove liners will wear those right away. Because, um, yes, there we go. Uh, and if we have a look, it shouldn't... Oh, everything's over encumbered at the moment because uh, we're we're carrying too much. I think we already have the hand press and die set. We should do. Okay, right. Almost back at the car. That window is fully smashed. Move past it. Let them come to us. <laughs> Bam. So yeah, it's usually just like a, a quick one-two strike for us um, with our blade, and we can take them down. L39. Interesting. A semi-automatic 9mm handgun introduced in 2039. It's a leadworks gun. It's accurate single-shot placement in a very robust frame. Huh, okay. Interesting. I think I'm gonna grab that. We might actually end up that might end up being our go-to weapon because we do actually have quite a lot of nine mm rounds. Uh, except for now we can't use it. Um, so we are just gonna go over to here and we're gonna drop all of these bits and pieces into into the vehicle. Um, I think though actually let's turn that filter off. I think we're gonna put these twenty-two rounds back for now and we'll put the Marlin back as well. Um do I want to swap out for the... I'll take the 9mm rounds for now. I'll take what I've got. Um, because there is actually quite a lot. I guess I'm still full. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll drop everything else in there. Um, let's see. Definitely drop all the books. And we'll drop the Spiral Stone and the Petrified Eye. Um, I want to hold on to the, onto the food that's perishable. But there's so much of it there that I might actually have to chuck some of it in. Uh, how are we doing all weight? We're doing okay. Um, so I'll see if I can take that 9mm now. Okay, that's good. I can. Hmm. Okay, we'll drop the marlin in there as well. It should give us a bit of space, and it does. Um, and yes, we'll chuck all of these in here too. I think we're pretty good. Those two. Right, okay, so let's go have a comparison between the two. So we'll grab the L39. Let's have a look at its full description. Okay, so several urban legends describe using it in ways that would have destroyed a lesser weapon. So it seems to be a pretty popular weapon, and it's a well, it's obviously. It's slightly more advanced as well because um, it's uh, been made at a later date. So we're going to activate our holster. We'll hit Shift I, and we want to compare the two of them. So we're just going to select both of them. Right. So the L39 has 20 rounds in it at a time of 9 mm ammunition. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, so it's actually reloaded at the moment. So this is this is what's giving the stats. So. I think we might actually just quickly wield the L39 and get some ammunition in it. So let's reload it. And what do we want? Let's just use the regular ammunition for now. Um, so we'll take into account that its piercing damage isn't that high. What are we using at the moment for the ACP? Oh, it's just standard ACP rounds. Okay. So let's now shift I again. And we'll have a look at the two of them. Okay, right, so, let's see. Moves per attack, so it takes... Oh, well, this is the, that's more the bashing side of things. Right, 20 rounds. 
12 rounds. The damage it does is a lot higher. 32. Range. Range is better there. Dispersion. The recoil on this is better, but the reload time is longer. The IUSP isn't um, isn't modified at all, and it's looking like it's a lot better, surprisingly. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually quite surprised by that. I thought that the this L39 would, um, yeah, I thought it would have um, held up quite quite strongly. But I uh, see the volume's higher as well, so it's it's a bigger it's a bigger gun. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess the the ACP rounds are just are, are stronger all up. So I mean, 33 versus 19, it's a big difference. Um, and I think even if we were using the full metal jacket rounds, which we which we don't have too many of, um, which we probably go through quite quickly, yeah, I I don't think it would be worth it. So we are going to put that away as long as well as that, the rest of the stuff, so we will holster our gun again once more and we will wield the katana and head back into the house oops, okay there we go yeah we're still, we're, we're soaking wet at the moment which, was, which isn't great um, I didn't actually ever explore this top room here so we'll have a quick look in there a syringe and some vitamins, take both Take more vitamins. Non-drowsy cough syrup. So we want regular cough syrup. Not that we need it now, though. Uh, so there's just a plastic bottle in there. Ah, here we go. Cough syrup. Great. And a disinfectant. Take it. More cough syrup. Excellent. That's what we need. Uh, no. Okay, so there's one other room as well that we can have a look at. Yeah, it's going to lead us around the side of the building. And we've already been in here. Okay. Great, so we'll just try and work our way through the rest of the building now. I think that by now we've probably got the majority of the zombies that are in here. At least I think so. Okay. So we work my way down along the same path that we were going before just to make sure that we haven't missed any rooms I don't believe we have okay great so we were just working our way down along the bottom and then I think we'll just work our way back up again there was nothing else in the kitchen that I was after keep note that there's a microwave there though if we need that for anything okay so there might be some books in here that we need so let's have a quick look samurai novel no Self-esteem, we've got that. Um, Crafts for the beginners, I don't know if we have that. And I don't know if we have computer science and shotguns. Okay, so we'll grab crafting. We'll grab shotguns. We'll grab computer science and how to browse the web. Let's see what else we got. DIY compendium, I don't know if we have that. Um, next time I drop off, I'm going to have a quick look at the books and just see what we have actually in there. Some more bottles of clean water. Mm, TV dinner will class as junk food for us. Mm, some more soap. We'll take it. We'll take the soap. Soap's probably pretty hard to come by. Okay. Some brioche. Let's grab it. We won't say no to it. Wrote novel. That'll do. Um, and it'll be junk for us as well, but Computer World will take. Formative magazine. Okay. Cheese spreads. Noodles. Hmm. Junk food? Guess no. Italian seasoning. Orange juice, oh yeah. Aluminium foil. Okay. <laughs> we can use it to craft a tinfoil hat. Wow. 
<laughs> maybe it's helpful. Maybe maybe it's actually useful in the game. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but at this stage, I'm not so concerned about it. We'll take it all the same. You never know. It could could be could be useful. Yeah. So this is a different library. Um, it's rather confused last time. Hello. I did not see you there. Nice. Cut them up. Okay. What do we got? Cotton balls. Yeah. We're gonna have to do another another drop off, which I'm all good for. Okay, let's open up this door here, come back down that way. So we've explored most of the mansion at this point, and we have a fat zombie coming for us. I wonder if I can get away dropping in time. No, we'll just take care of him first. And we're getting even wetter out here as well, fortunately. Come on, come at me. 46. 46. Oh crap, he's probably going to have a chance to hit us. We got him before he could. Before she could, rather. Okay. Alright. Let's check our inventory. We're gonna chuck these books in. You know what? We'll get rid of these casings as well for now. We don't actually need to have them on us. We just want to keep them. Dehydrated fish. I think we can probably actually put the jug of water away for now. And the leather patches as well. Oh, not the lemon. Oh well, it's too late now. Cough syrup, disinfectant, non-drowsy. Plastic bowl. That. Italian seasoning. Soap. Syringe. Hold on to the other tins for now. Okay, so I was wanting to have a look and see what books we have available to us. So if we come into here, into our advanced inventory, there is a way to view categories, which is really, really helpful. So if we hit S, we can go to sort, and we want to sort by category. So it's going to place these in a category of sorts, so we can see guns. So it'll list all of our guns, so our range weapons, that's why the bullwhip comes in there as well. Ammunition everything comes under there. This is generally how I store things as well. If I have a cupboard, I'll have a cupboard full of what's classed as a gun or a cupboard that's classed as ammo. It's a good way to split things up. Um, so we've got all of our regular weapons down there as well. We've actually got all of our bombs as well, which is good to see that they're still in there. I've actually got some 2x4s still. Um, and all of our tools. Many, many, many tools. You can see that everything's doubled up. I don't actually have double of them. It's just showing double. Um, we've got that Molle pack. That might be... Might be saying, we might be able to work with that. It's It's got a less amount of storage. But um, we could probably get away with carrying a little bit less. Um, and being able to wear more protection. It's an option for us. Should we feel like taking it. We've got all of our food. Rotten stomach. Mm, we don't need that. Um, we've got all the drugs, and then we've got books. So I have a quick look through here to see what we have, just so I can kind of just glance over them with my eye. Let's see what we have. I mean, it's obviously it's impossible to remember all of this, um, but it's just kind of getting an idea of what we have. Oh, we've got under the hood. What you freaking kidding me? I looked for this, I looked for this, and I could not find it. It definitely wasn't in there. Ah, oh, for fucks. Well, we've, we've got under the hood, that's good to know. I'm going to take that out right now, so I don't bloody forget. We've actually got two copies of it, because, <laughs> because I've probably done that before. <laughs> and yes, we've got our bionics in there still as well. So, Joint Torsion Ratchet, one of my favourite ones in the game. Um, generates power like nothing else, but we don't actually have any battery CBMs at the moment as well. I think that it'll be a long time before no one would consider um, applying CBMs to herself, uh, as it requires a certain amount of expertise. So, 
Yeah, I don't think she jumps straight into it. Uh, so we do have some hard leg guards. That's what I saw earlier on. I might want to take those out because I could be able to do something with those, although I'm probably going to need plastic to do it. We do actually have some plastic chunks, so I'll grab I'll, I'll grab all those. Oh, actually, no, I don't need to grab them. I just need to stand next to here. Right, so we'll leave those in the flatbed truck. We'll grab the hard leg guards. Okay. It's not a thunderstorm at the moment, so we should be able to see. Tactical helmet. And I wonder how it does stack up against um, the army helmet. Let's have a quick look. So if we go to hit I, we will have a look at our army helmets. There it is. Versus, ah, uh, great. We will actually need to select it. So I'll grab that really quick. Let's have a look. It's damaged, so I imagine that it's somewhat, um, yeah, it's not going to show me exactly what it would be. Oh, I mean, army helmets leaps and bounds above that, yeah. Huge, huge difference. So, yeah, not even worth, not even worth us entertaining the idea. Okay, I just want to check my hands really quick. Yep, they're good. With those glove liners, um, I've probably still got them on the outside as well. Yeah, should bring them on the inside. See that our hands are actually nice and warm now, which is good. Our feet, still not quite yet, but they'll get there. Um, the hard leg guards I do want to have a look at now, though, before we head back in. Decent protection. Um, we can see that it's not very encumbering, and it actually does give us some protection. So they're polyurethane leg guards with a neoprene backing. So they're kind of what I imagine you'd have for, like, um, soccer guards. You know, to, prote pr to, pr the, sorry, to protect your shins. I had trouble with that one. Okay, so we'll activate our soldering line, and we'll see if we can see if we can repair it. We damage them further. Okay, if we damage them completely, I'm going to be okay with that. Okay, we destroy it. It's a it's a learning process, you know. Um, you do need to practice it. Um, so yeah, we were living without them. I think we can continue to survive without them. And plus, no one learns a little bit by doing that. Um, I want to explore just a little bit more of the house before we come to the libraries though. There is just a little bit more to see. Ooh, what do we have in here? That's a nice looking table. Triple sec, some Cabernet Sauvignon. A nice looking table. Really like that design chest hole. Um, okay, yes, we've cleared this room. I think we're looking pretty good. Just double check there's nothing else hidden in here. No more zombies in the pool, I hope. Okay, a few things in here. We've got some more aspirin. Some more dusk masks that we don't need. Um, we'll take the, we'll take the cough syrup. We've got quite a bit of cough syrup now. Um, the cotton balls you can use to treat wounds in the same way that you can use bandages. So if you just have a light wound, sometimes it can be good just to use a cotton ball on it. That way you're not wasting a whole heap. Um, okay, we've done a pretty good job of clearing this place out now, so I'm just going to have a look at these books and just see what we have, what we have around. Okay, crafts, internal combustion fundamentals. I'll just kind of, I'm going to kind of try and go through bit by bit like this, just see what we have. Engineering 301, we've got that I believe. You know what? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I know I've got computing 301, I believe. Outdoor Survival Guide. Sewing Techniques for the Designers. Swash Broken Level. Yeah, so I'll just go through each part and just see what we've got. It's the Art of Glass Blowing. Water Survival Training. Okay, so they're, they're pretty useful and they're all in the same place. So let's have a look. Grab all of those. You know, I think we're probably just going to go through like this. It's just a quick way to look, and I know then that I'm not going to be missing anything. And it's not as overwhelming. I think we've already got this one. I think it's the one where we could learn Haggis and the rest. Got that in the last mansion. Chemical Warfare. Swords of the Samurai. I don't think we actually 
have that. So that'd be pretty good for our katana. Under the hood, we we definitely have that now. We know that we have that. Um, what I probably should do is just sit down and read all the books that I have. Because if I read them, at least it'll be blue, and then these will show up as blue, and then I know that I've got it. Um, so I think before we end today, that's something that we'll definitely do. We'll just get all the books out, we'll sit in the vehicle, we'll just have a look through. Um, Noah is tired though, so I know that um, Book of Dances, I think that we've already got that. See, I don't know anymore. Okay. I'm a thing pretty sure we already have, but I'm fine doubling up on it for now. I think it's better to have the book than to not have it. Just because there, there, there's so many titles that are have similar names as well it can be quite easy to uh to become confused and think that you already have it and also just from playing so many games uh you can think that you've had them just by running so many different characters building for beginners sounds great and we are starting to get over encumbered now so i don't know what else there would be here that we would want so we'll have a look how to trap anything ah oh, damn it Okay, let's run back quick. Drop all the books. So we'll go down to our books and we'll just drop them all in there apart from under the hood. Won't let that out my sights. Okay. So I did get how to trap anything. I can't remember if I did or I didn't. Grab it. Yeah, so we're just having a very, very quick look at the stage. Just because I feel like we've got a pretty good selection of books at the moment. It'll obviously take us a while to get through. It would be nice to just spend some time just sitting down and reading. We've got an okay amount of food, but not not a whole lot. Um, but we, at the very least, we want to have a look at them just so that we know that we've got them. Okay, I believe that we have cleared the mansion. This is where it would be nice to have a cart. That I could just bring all of those books inside. Make it nice and easy. Because um, it's drizzling outside, um, so it's obviously not the nicest condition to be looking at books in. It's okay in here. Um, let's see. We have sitting in here just the raincoat, yeah. So I could just put on the raincoat for now and sit out in the drizzle. Um, but again, it's going to make us a little bit unhappy. So I'll grab all the books that I can. And we'll just go through bit by bit. And just make sure that we read them all. So let's go on down. Work our way down. Can I just go through? I can. It's a much faster way to do it. Oh my god. Yeah, so you can see... <laughs> see how many of these I have I see that for some of them I do have multiple I think I just grabbed two Bon Appetit as well Okay, destination area is full. Okay, so let's just go through, sit down, and just at least do that. So by doing that, we can tell what we are able to learn from them.
So the blue ones are the ones that we can actually learn things from. The yellow ones are ones that we need to be smarter to be able to actually learn something. I think. Yeah, all about swords we actually won't learn anything from at all. So when they're greyed out, it's of no benefit to you. That means that there's no skills or no recipes that you can learn that would be of any use. Um, if it's yellow, sometimes it'll mean that um, there are still recipes that you can learn from it, but you can't learn any skills. Okay, so one with the tower is just a regular book. That will be very nice when we can actually hand load our own ammunition. Well, survival skill level 8. Yep. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go back into here and we'll drop them all back in there. So let's head on down to our books and chuck them back on in. Yeah, so not not everything in Cataclysm is is, uh, is glamorous. Um, it's, it's obviously, it's still really fun, but sometimes you just need to spend a little bit of time going through and and managing things really so we can see that all of those should be oh, I didn't actually grab any Bon Appetit <laughs> okay so grab them all one by one yeah so if we, if we didn't do this it would just um, yeah it would it would get frustrating every single time we try and go somewhere um, and we don't know what books we have what we you know what we've read what we haven't read this way so it's a nice and quick way for us to be able to do it. And also at the same time we can see what we are... We see what we would be able to learn things from. So there are books that we could probably spend some time just sitting down and just reading. Just to, just to learn some new recipes. Um, there's a part of me that's wondering whether or not that's something I should do off camera. Or on camera. Just because it is such a long process. It could take up the majority of an episode. So the whole episode could be me literally reading books for for an hour um, and then slowly breaking in between to, to eat and drink because obviously you can see at the moment it's already almost five o'clock and we're quite hungry and thirsty which I will definitely do something about okay yeah good okay so now I'm just gonna have a quick bite to eat so I'm I'm never gonna try and eat something that that um, that's perishable if there is something that's perishable and I eat it, it should be because of an emergency, because there is a lack of food. I want to be able to use the wilds around us as much as possible until we can't use them anymore, really. So that's that's my kind of goal with that. Let's chuck these all back. And we'll grab the next lot of books. There we go. Okay, so slowly getting through them all. We'll read the National Weather Transcripts. The photo album, I am actually going to put back in there because we don't need to have that on us. Um, that is something that we will use to give us a morale boost. You essentially look at other people's photos and think about how the world used to be. Yeah, that's that's it. Actually, no, no whoops. Let me just start reading that. Okay, Outdoor Adventures, there is quite a lot that we can learn from that still. Whoops, I tried to read my cash card. I don't know how? Okay. Oh wow, so it actually put my morale down. I skimmed the National Weather Transcripts to read and find out what's in there. A lot that we can do with that.
Yeah, so some books we can't actually read. So some of the um, high-end books we won't actually be able to read because of our intelligence. So I think... Let's see what it was saying. Intelligence 8. So we do have 8 intelligence, but um, sometimes that can drop down a bit lower if you're not feeling so great. Um, so some of those books might be a little bit difficult for us to read because Noah is... I mean, yeah, so... She's not the smartest. She's not. She's not dumb by any means at all, um, but she's. She's not. Um, she's not a scientist. Um, she's. Yeah. It's just. That's not her role. That's not who she is. But. Um, you know, it doesn't limit us by too much. Uh, there. I mean, there is some very, very high-end stuff that Noah probably won't have access to. But, at the end of the day, that's just the way it is. You know, it's give and take. We'll chuck that all back in there. Chuck the national with us transcripts in there as well, and I think we we're getting pretty close there. Through the lens, trap and field, almost there, and that's all the books. So we've almost read all of them. Well, just flick through them at least to find out what's in them. Okay, interesting. Ah, the Book of Dances can bring dodging skill up. Interesting, interesting. That's cool. I was wondering what it was going to be. This one I'm interested in. Yes, it's fabrication. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so that's all of our books there. So we now have the option of reading some of those books. So I think that we probably will start to read some of them before the end of this episode. I mean, I, I want to get through, or at least try to get through um, Under the Hood. If not anything else, that's, that's my goal for this one. So we'll chuck them all back in there. Uh, I think I've actually chucked under the hood back in there already, so I'll make sure that I grab that back out. Let's have a look. Under the hood. Let's take it. Okay, I'm going to be fine with leaving everything else in there for the time being. It's early, um, so I'm going to want to try and spend some time reading. Um, let's grab another book other than just that. Let's see what we have in there. Um... Yeah, they're all pretty spread out, unfortunately. Okay. We'll grab a few. Let's just have a look and see what we can... See what we've got in there. I wouldn't mind getting the Book of Dances to learn about dodging. That is always helpful for us. Um, let's see if there's anything else that immediately we can use. I think we'll get the Cars Buyer's Guide, because um, we want to become slightly better at driving. There might be some things in there that help us. It could also be with the actual construction of cars as well. There might be some articles in there. I think that'll do us for the time being. We're going to head inside, jump inside that big room, close up some of these doors. Okay, I'll just try and track down a nice room. Ah, yeah, there we are. There we are. Close all of those up for now. Come on in, and no sheets. It's a little bit disappointing. I don't think there were any other bedrooms in this whole place. Which again, disappointing. I don't have any sheets. And this is not a bedroom either. So, in this whole big mansion, there was only one bedroom. Uh, different so it's we should still be able to read uh, we're going to jump into the bed and we'll start having a read of under the hood yes okay it's difficult to see fine, de fine details so we'll stop reading the reason for that is because it's low light in here I'm going to see if I come out to the side if oh right 
it's getting quite low light. So let's have a look. We've got two options. We've got the gasoline lantern and we've got the electric lantern, which I think I've thrown both into the car, frustratingly enough. So, <laughs> ah, flashlight's got no batteries. Great. Okay, this is the way out. There we go. So we'll come out here real quick. Again, getting a little bit hungry. Um, let's, let's eat the last of the BLT there. And uh, we'll drink some orange juice. Okay, let's see. Okay. Should be under tools. Uh, but we can just search. So we'll search for the lantern. Great. So we'll grab both for now. Electric and gas. Um, because I think the gas one will... It's going to burn slower. Um, I don't want to waste gasoline. But I don't, I don't kind of see it as wasting gasoline. Um, I think, I think it should be okay. Also, I want to be mindful that I don't actually stay up too late tonight because Noah will be getting quite tired. Um, I do need to try and find this room though, however. Next one along. No, that's not it. Next one along. Oh, I'm lost. Okay, so let's activate that gas lantern now. So, slash. There we are. Okay, alright. Let's jump on here. And let's try and read. Study mechanics and you can learn something. Okay, so we can see that we're learning. It's going up slowly, bit by bit. 70%, 74%. It's now almost 11 o'clock though, so this is probably going to be the only book that I read tonight. I think if we are going to read, we can just do it tomorrow. I don't want to get her sleeping schedule too out of whack. We have some brioche. And I think it's actually it in terms of our juices. So let's just have some clean water. And I think that's going to be it for Noah. We're going to be calling it a day there. There is a lot of learning for Noah to do. And um, I'd like for you guys to let me know what you think about it. Um, I could spend a decent amount of time here just studying and learning as many recipes as I can. Um, whether or not you want to see that on camera, um, I might just try and do it as an extra episode so that it doesn't take up any extra time. Um, I'll just do it on the side so it'll still count as an episode, but I'll just chuck it in there. We'll have an extra three episodes next week maybe because um, obviously I don't want it to take away from the exploration side of this too much. But um, this is not a bad mansion. It's... Um, it's, it's on the outskirts. Um, I feel a bit safer here than I did there. Um, it'll be interesting to see how open this field is here as well, but I still want to get some exploration done. So either I'll be reading in the next one, or we're going to head down here and explore those roads and, and this one out towards this town, just to see what we have going on around us, because uh, we want to be aware of what we've got and what we've got out there. Um, but that's gonna that's gonna wrap us up for this time. Noah's still surviving. She's doing well. She's had a very 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 long day. She didn't sleep at all last night. I think things are still weighing pretty heavily on her mind. The idea of being a police officer and to protect and serve it's um, it's all changing for her. But thank you for joining me. I've really enjoyed this week's cataclysm. And until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>